Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm John Luke and I'm joined by Spencer here. Spencer, how's it going? What's going on, guys? Uh, we are playing Ghost Recon Wildlands, the open beta. It started uh, earlier today, right? Yeah, it started earlier today. Uh, a lot of people have been having some connection issues, but luckily for us, we finally got in. Cool. So yeah, so we can... uh, let's just join a public match. Let's get right into it. All right, super. For those wondering, yes, this is an open beta, so it is, uh, you could just download it. Although it's taken, uh, takes a while so mm -hmm. download it now so it's ready for later tonight if you want to play it uh i am going to be checking the chat so feel free to hit us up with any questions you have uh and yeah let's see if we can get in a match here let's see hopefully we can yeah so you, you said it's been fine on your end it's been fine on my end uh, it took about i would say an hour after the uh, beta launch that i was able to finally connect and i've stayed connected since then okay so you know what? While we're doing this, I'll just cancel this. So we can just jump right into the into the game itself. Yeah, do it. Oh wait, nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh, Here we go. Error. Uh oh. Okay, that error is actually what people have been seeing a lot lately. Okay. So okay. If that happens to us again, we'll just run around because actually there's a new section of the map now opened up in this open beta that wasn't available in the closed beta. Mm -hmm. So. Do you still have the previous map available? Uh, yes, you still have oh, the previous okay. area, cool. which is I believe we're in now. I see. Here we go. So I'll just hold down. So yeah, so we can just goof around while the game. Oh, while you're stores. searching, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So let's see here. Slow the game audio a little bit here. Yeah. So uh, this area over Evan, here yes, is new. Evan, yes, yes, we just started streaming. Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry. So this, this area is new here. So okay. Cool. Cool. Fast travel here. Yeah. Let's, let's ch check out all the new stuff. Uh, it's so, it's such a grind though to <laughs> connect to this game sometimes. Like it's yeah, it's fun to play, but it definitely takes some um, a little luck to finally connect to it. <laughs> Do you feel? Um, I definitely felt the game was a little unpolished at that uh, closed beta. Yeah, it it definitely felt unpolished to me too. Uh, feel any better here? Yeah, I feel it feels a little better here. Like, there's definitely some little better textures, and the frame rate isn't hurting too much. Okay, that's good. So, this is Nomad. We're boots down in Montaillac. What have you got for us? Montaillac is Santa Blanca's primary. There's no fixing that dialogue, though. I'm still. It's not doing anything for me. It's not tough enough for you? I think it's trying to be <laughs> too tough. It's my issue. <laughs> Seems like a lot of people in the uh, chat have been having issues with the beta. Um, Solid copy, Bowman. You're not the only ones. Like everyone all over the world is having we'll issues. So the rebels can pick up these supplies but later. once you are connected, I'm uh, the from my experience, you stay connected. Ahead, but it's you. getting connected that's been the major oh, issue okay. for a lot of people. So, because as I said, when I first loaded this thing in and got about. Uh, had to wait about an hour for it finally connect to me, and since then I have I've been able to, you know, click on and off, on and off since. So, uh, Shinigami, yes, this is multi co-op online. Uh, does it have split screen? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I don't think uh, not. I, yeah. Let's see if we can go up here. Still trying to find us a group to join with. So. All right. Well, let's just try and do some missions on our own then, while we hopefully eventually connect to somebody. Anybody. All right, let's see. You know what? He goes up the road. Let's go up. Got dirt bike for a reason. See, like, for me, the frame rate in the closed beta was, like, kind of chugging at times. Like, uh -huh. Especially at points like this when you're on a bike. Sure. Right now, to me, it's not, it's not showing that too badly. So there's been some improvements. I played on PC. I didn't really have that many issues, but... I have a pretty beefy PC at home, so I think I just sort of brute forced it right. to be uh, <laughs> pretty good. Is there an armored vehicle up here I could take? 
Ooh, there is an armored vehicle I can take. Although I couldn't run it at max settings. Um, I have a 1070. Okay. And uh, which is not the highest end graphics card, but I tried to run it max settings, and it did. Uh, Who leaves a tank out? It here? did not love it. Not that I'm complaining. Yeah, get in that Fuck tank, man. People. Come on, guys. Someone asked, what's the frame rate? Uh, the frame rate on console? I would say probably a solid 30. Yeah, I would say it's a solid 30 as well. Um, yeah, I would definitely agree to that for sure. Uh, we are playing this on PS4, for anyone wondering right now. Uh, but the beta is available on all three platforms to download. Uh, someone in the chat was saying apparently it's 25 gigs to download on uh, Steam. The, uh, the yes, I think so. I know that if you have the closed... Damn it. I know if you have the closed uh, beta and you try to download this update, it actually requires, it's a 19 gigabyte on PS4. Uh, so and it okay. kind of overrides the closed beta and adds the new stuff from this to that. Interesting. So this thing is really hard to drive. That's another thing, unfortunately, I haven't quite fixed quite yet is the, is the driving controls in this for me. Not great. Like, everything, it just, I don't know, it just feels weird. Like I know they're trying to customize the controls to fit like, oh, you're driving a tank, so it's gonna be a lot harder to turn. But if you make it to the point where it's not fun to drive, I think it kind of loses the point. Yeah, I, did, I messed around with... I found helicopters really weird to drive. Oh, yeah, I know. The helicopters are still a they, mess. They were, they were going for sort of a realism to them, but it felt kind of bad. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. I did land a plane, though, which oh, was okay. really fun. There I, you I, go. I got a plane, and I had to land it. And... <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't realize that it had lights on it, so I was using my night vision oh in the dark, God. and I had to like land a plane on a strip, and I managed to land it. Oh my god! So that was pretty. That was, pre that was pretty cool. That was that like was your, that was your highlight of the entire day. That was probably my highlight playing it was uh, landing that plane. Okay. I felt pretty good about that. All right, so we're in the. Oh god, that's gonna blow. Okay, there's somebody. I think there's enemies uh, up there. Wow, this, that is a mouthful of the name there. Um, Primi Fritzeld, a.k.a. Mr. The WoW Player. That guy deserves a lot of these. <laughs> yeah, that, that is, that is a damn. Um, <laughs> he wants to know how big the, is this map. Is it Skyrim big, GTA big, or Witcher 3 big? I'm trying to think. Hold on. Let's see. So Skyrim big is actually not that big. Skyrim is actually pretty restrained. Um, GTA 5 is pretty big. Yeah, I think Witcher I would, 3 might be bigger than GTA, though. I actually don't know. I think Witcher 3 is... I think I think it has the biggest map, to my knowledge. Yeah, uh, uh, the, bi the biggest... Because if the you kind of put all those worlds together in one spot, I think that's kind of... Yeah, so this is the map right here, provided I don't hit any of those icons. But yeah, this is basically the entire uh, map. Definitely bigger than Skyrim. Yeah, I'm definitely a lot that. bigger. Definitely bigger than Skyrim. Uh, We're here. Probably bigger than GTA. It, it's a little uh, Skyrim and GTA. I'd say are a little more condensed in their um, what to do for right, yeah. the square footage. This uh, uh, seems to stretch things out a lot more. It's kind of going for more of a scope um, than compacting everything. Ah. ah, who's hitting me? That's someone in the chat. Jimmy says it's smaller than Witcher. So uh, I don't know if that's true, but um, sure, why not? <laughs> we'll take we'll take your word for it. Ooh, that's a chopper. We got a man down. So what are you trying to do right now? You're trying to hack a network? I'm trying to, yeah, try to hack into some network over here, but I think I may have bitten off more than I could chew. There we go. How do you feel about just the, the straightforward mission, like, objectives so I, far? I like this sort of game. Like, I like the sort of way to where you can kind of approach any mission that you want. Like, I... It kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, I would say, Hitman a little bit. Oh, boy. Okay. Ah, I'm down. So, because, like, you know in Hitman how you can literally approach any mission in any style you want. You can be stealthy or you can go in guns blazing. Mm -hmm. It's exactly that with this. Okay. So you can literally play in any form that you wish. But, I don't know, it's, it's so much more satisfying when you're playing with people <laughs> than AI uh, subjects. Yeah. Because it's just... The AI at times, like I was playing this morning and there was a moment where there were guards and my AI companions literally walked across the field in front of these dudes. But because I didn't get spotted yet, the AI didn't count that. 
So they're looking at my guys. My guys are looking at them, but they just mosey on past each other, and no one, nothing happened. I'm just like, are you kidding me? So it's, uh, I don't know, man. It's there are times where, like, this game is made to play with friends or or even just people online cooperating. I really, I kind of find that a bummer, uh, though, because that's something that I, I always felt. Tom Clancy games like Ghost Recon and uh, like you wish it was optional. The the older uh, Rainbow Six games was the the squad AI was always like pretty good. Or you know, um, at least you had like a lot of options to give them commands and control. There, there was a lot of uh, control you had over your squad, and I thought that was sort of like a huge appeal of those games. And it right. feels like the AI squad in this game is not really that good and there's it's pretty limited in what you can have them do and i think that's because they expect you to play with your friends in which case you can kind of do whatever you want with your friends and communicate directly but i i do miss that sort of a got a location on more a um point here single player here. experience where i can so i have like this most of the squad that i yeah. can directly command i mean i mean you could give commands supplies, but it, they're so basic the and yeah they're, they're, they just, feel pretty basic yeah. um next to the firing range I, I don't feel like they're real people the way I felt like some of those Rainbow Six games kind of made me feel. Or those, the those other uh, Ghost Recon games. Right. Alright, so we're going to approach this a little more stealthier. Since the first approach didn't pay off too well. But yeah, we got to get in this building. So there's multiple entrances yeah. we can take. Where you got him? By the stack of tires. I'm moving to position. The, the last Ghost Recon game I really got into was... Um, got him. Down. Uh, Gra, which was uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfare. Yeah, I only remember the acronym. <laughs> I don't remember the actual name. I was of the like, game. for a second, I was like, wait, what was that game? Oh, Ghost Recon. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, Advanced uh, War Warfare. Right. Yeah. War. Because there's warfare, but there's also like War Fighter. Yeah. Or like, it, was it Advanced Fighter or Future Soldier? Future. Mm, you I might don't be thinking Call of Duty games now. I don't know. They're all sound the same. <laughs> Uh, but that was like a really early Xbox 360 game, and I thought that game was awesome. Yeah, that, yeah, game, that game was, was that was really, cool. really cool. Wasn't that also the first one where Ghost Recon went to third person, like over the shoulder? Because always it was it was yes. always first person. I believe so. So. Well, they know we're here. I have a disc copy of the original Ghost Recon. Um, we can use this. That's good. But I've never actually, I never played it because when we had it, I was like three. <laughs> like three or four, like my dad. Maybe not, maybe not three or four. Like you know, five or six or whatever. Remember, my dad had it, um, and I never actually played it because it was rated M. Son, it's time you need to play this game. There's only it, three. Even <laughs> even if he did let me play it, there's no way I'd have been good at it. <laughs> you never know. You could have gone in there, guns blazing, and take everybody out. Yeah, I'm, could have had that a six-year-old me is a pro. You could be at esports. You never know. Uh, Jamie's wondering, are we going to be streaming Breath of the Wild? So we uh, are not able to uh, stream much of the game right now. There's there's a lot of weird um, embargo restrictions we have. But I know once the game, you can definitely look forward to later on in the coming weeks. We're definitely going to be covering that game extensively. Uh, but we really can't talk oh, about it much right God. now. God. Really hate it when, like, I'm randomly shot somewhere. Like, that drives me nuts. So hopefully my teammates are gonna. They're gonna come save you. Yes. Yeah, all right. Here we go. Here goes the guy. So luckily the AI can revive you, mm -hmm. um, and after giving a few minutes, if you get downed again, they can do it again for you. Uh, Bruno wants to know what difficulty you're playing on. Uh, I believe I'm playing on hard. I believe. Uh, so this is part of why I'm getting shot up. For is that the, and then there's the one above it, right? The. Yeah. Then there's, there's like the realistic. I think that's one with like no HUD. So which. I'm oh kinda, really? I'm kind of tempted to want to jump into because. That sounds cool. Trying to stay indoors here right now because we got an enemy chopper outside. A uh, great master flash says advanced warfare was uh, the 361. Oh, Future soldiers was the last gen one. Ah, okay, there you go. I think advanced war fighter is yeah, the a Call of Duty one. Okay. I think. Man, I'm so confused. <laughs> There's been so many. It, uh, there's only so many ways you can say that. <laughs> you can, like, warfare, warfighter, advanced, extreme, Ooh, <laughs> amazing, awesome, awesome. This goes recon awesome. There we go. <laughs> <Ghost recon awesome. laughs> we're, we're running out of names, guys. We're running out of ideas. What other country are invading? Uh, Switzerland. Ghost recon high five. Great job. <laughs> well, they can just start naming off the countries you fight next. 
Yeah, that'd be yeah. That'd, that'd <laughs> probably be the actual like Ghost Recon, and this one's like Brazil, right? So Ghost yeah. Recon Brazil. There you go. Oh my God. Yeah, because it was what, oh, Rainbow Six God. Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. They did that. Well, still not able to connect with people yet, so that's a little disappointing. So we'll try to see if we can connect to. Yeah, that that is a bummer. Sounds mode. like everyone else is kind of having the same issue. Yeah. PSN earlier was mentioning for a lot of people that, uh, you know, some people were able to connect earlier in the day, and then all of a sudden they're starting to drop like flies. So luckily that hasn't happened to us yet. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so if you are having connection issues, you're not the only one, and people are also reporting the exact same thing. So let's actually uh, do a mission here. We've located the okay. stocks of ammo and mortar shells being used for training in Montaillac. Destroying the stocks will bring training in the province to a halt. Okay, cool. Uh, so there's a, a weapons depot we gotta destroy. Someone is saying that advanced warfare is the Call of Duty one. So I think it was Warfighter was the Ghost Recon. That's gonna be my final answer. <laughs> it's Warfighter was Ghost Recon, and Warfare is Call of Duty. Do you miss games taking place like in World War II? Like, do you miss those kind of those Actually, kind of kinda, games? Actually, kind of. I kind of do. I was sort of. Um, I was watching a video where a guy was like doing this really. I like watching like really weird internet videos um, Who doesn't? that are like two hours long where people just like talk about stuff. That makes um, sense. And this guy was just talking about all the Call of Duty games and he was talking about how uh, the original Call of Duty games sort of they, the, the newer ones very much are about wanting to make you feel like the hero, right? The badass. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the older Call of Duties were you were never like the singular like oh, you won the war because you did a cool thing. It was more about you are one soldier in a group of AI line, soldiers. And I always remembered, like, oh, yeah, like, in those games, there were constantly just, like, AI uh, buddies around you that would, mm -hmm. like, help you and get shot. And there's a real uh, sense of being part of something larger. And I kind of I kind of miss that, Coming that, that sense of, of um, the game like that scale. It it, like, I haven't seen that like recently, I feel like, in a shooter. You know what? I, I couldn't agree more with you on that. And I feel like the game that nailed that out of the park was the original Call of Duty. Because I remember, yeah, I remember exactly. parts Call where Duty, you, Call Duty 2. you would look at soldiers and would give you their name and their rank. And if they got killed, they wouldn't, it wouldn't like pop up another same guy with the same name. No, that, would, that person would be dead dead. Yeah, and, 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 and the, it, it kind of hit home a little bit for me because I'm just like, oh, man, that person totally, is dead yeah. dead. It's like, oh, yeah, man. You, you weirdly got attached to those characters, not because the game tried to have a cutscene where it made you feel attached right. to them, because you were like, well, I've been playing this game for like 10 hours, and there's always been this dude with this name next to me, and all of a sudden he gets shot, and he's not in the game anymore. And he's gone and for good. You're kind of bummed about it. <laughs> Especially if it's, like, your fault accidentally. And you're like, oh, whoops. Didn't mean to throw that grenade in there. So, yeah, like, I... It's weird. I don't know if I necessarily miss the aesthetic of World War uh, Two, although I wouldn't mind going back to it. But I mm -hmm. I do miss the, um... Kind of the tone that those older Call of Duties gave. I don't, I don't think there's a game that's tried to replicate that sense, uh... Call of Duty left World War II, so I kind of want I kind of want to see that back right. in some form. I think that would be really cool. I've been waiting to like dive back into like a World War II because I, I find those games a lot more challenging because you're not worried about using like drones or high end weaponry. Like you have to kind of like you kind of have to use yeah, it's much like, more the basic. knowledge. Yeah, you have to kind of use the knowledge of your environment a lot better. You have to use uh, your own like wits about you on it. Like you can't just be like, "Oh, I, I have a drone. I'll just call in an airstrike on this or that." It's like, no, you can't. It doesn't work that way. So it's it's much more enjoyable to when you have your back to a wall, but because of your own wits, you manage to get out of it. So yeah. I I enjoy games like that immensely. Uh, I'm so I I think Activision said that supposedly Call of Duty is going to get back to its roots this year. But how would you, but how would they get back to their roots? Uh, like, by going to World War II is kind of the, I, the I'm hoping prevailing so. theory, but I part of me wor I is worried that even guys. if they do go back to World War II, um, I might, I still might not get necessarily what I want, which is sort of that scale back, um, you're not much of the hero, but you're just like a cog in this larger yeah. war. Like, I get the feeling they might go for more of a uh, like a, you're still like a grand hero kind yeah. of thing, which is what a lot of uh, other shooters like you know Medal of Honor kind of did. 
Um, just so long as I like, like, it, like the first Call of Duty for me really made me like able to expand on the map. Like I wasn't forced to follow one particular trail or one particular like path. I was oh, open yeah, to yeah, kind of yeah. go around what I could do. I haven't felt that way in a long time in a lot of Call of Duty games or even, you know, recent shooters at all. So I'm kind of hoping that they, if they do go back to that, it's the idea that, oh, hey, by the way, uh, you can approach this mission any way you wish. Like, kind of mix in stuff like that. Like, recently I played Sniper Elite, and mm -hmm. that kind of, you know, opens up to that idea. So if they can take something like that and offer it in a way to where you feel like you're just, you're this one piece in a big, you know, war machine, and... You know, you're not invincible, but you can be taken down, but you're working with other comrades in arms. I would really enjoy that. I agree. That'd be rad. It's, a, it's an interesting point about the the variety, the way you could tackle it. Because, yeah, that game totally did have this. You had an objective, but there were always, like, I, I would find myself if I was getting hammered and kind of, like, just dying over and over on one path. I would say, okay, I'm going to go around this way instead try it out. Right. But the game never... Um, really like express that in like a very uh gamey way where it's like by the way you could do multiple options you know like it just it just kind of was that way and you just sort of figured it out playing right uh like so long as so long as it gives me that option to kind of explore yeah. and take chances with different ideas that that leads it to a lot more probability of it all right, well, this is a bottleneck. So. Uh, Soul Hunter is wondering uh, what you guys can play. How? That's what a lot of people are saying in the chat. So we, as I said before, I was fortunate enough to get connected and stay connected. So I don't <laughs> have much of an answer for you. Yeah, it, it seems like it's just kind of a... It's, it's really, you got to keep trying until you get connected. Once you get in, don't turn off your console. Ever. Yeah. Just leave it on. Oh no. Hostile kill. Uh, Tan May's wondering if we're getting frame drops. Uh, you, you said it, it seems better. Yeah, no, I mean, even during these all these explosions, I'm not having much of an issue at all. So I don't know if you've noticed anything or not, but no, a couple of people are saying that they've. Uh, one person saying that the the frame rate for them has been garbage, but. Uh, I, it looks fine from what I've been seeing you do. It, it seems fine. There's supposed to be a crate here, but I don't see it. I'm trying to destroy a crate? Yeah, we have to destroy these these armored crates, so I'm actually gonna run it here quickly. Alright. Hopefully there's not gonna be too many assholes in here. Oh, speaking of which. Oh! Get him! Get him! There we go. There we go. I was afraid to shoot that one guy because he was next to an explosive barrel. I definitely don't want to go up with him with that. Hostile down. Okay. So for those of you just joining us, we are playing uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost storm. Recon Advance. Nope. <laughs> Ghost Recon Wildlands. See? <laughs> I, I'm so used to not talking about that. We're playing Ghost Recon Wildlands. <laughs> Man, I wish this was Advanced Warfare. Oh, I play man. that. Yeah. play Advanced Warfighter. I play that. Uh, a great game. We are playing uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, uh, playing it on PS4. We're still trying to connect to other people. We might be the only ones playing now. That might be why. Uh, that might be it, to be honest. This game comes out ooh, pretty soon, right? A couple weeks? Uh, yeah, I think March 7th is when it yeah, comes that's out. Yeah, uh, that's two weeks. So, uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe to us uh, uh, if you want to check us out, because we're definitely going to be doing more coverage of this game for sure uh, when it gets closer to launch. That's a kill. Cool. Took that guy down. And yeah, uh, I am looking at the chat, so feel free to send any questions our way. The alarm. What's our play? The alarm? I think they already knew we were here. <laughs> All right, so. I think we're in a safe zone. Ammo crate down. There we go. Cool. Oh my god, there's another guy up there. Man down, man down. He's down. He'll be okay. I'm on my way. There we go. All right, I got you covered. So I'm definitely. This may be a, a issue yeah. just of uh, working here and having so many games to cover. Uh, I'm definitely starting to run into an issue where I don't know where to <laughs> devote my personal time. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I've you know I've been playing Neo, um, not as much as I'd like. 
I started playing uh, For Honor. Uh, and then it's like, dude, like I got a Switch oh, coming <laughs> no. next Friday. You got Zelda coming. Yeah, yeah Zelda uh, will come in with the Switch. Hang in there, I'm coming your way. Everyone's this been thing's loving coming that out. Game. I'm I'm probably like one of the few people in the office uh, who's interested in Nier, but I definitely want to like check that out. Like that seems pretty cool. Nier looks cool. Like I'm actually looking forward to that too. I'm I'm a I'm a huge Platinum fan, so I'm interested Walk in that one. And then Mass Effect comes out at the end of March, so I'm just sitting here like, ah oh, man, I don't even. Ew. Oh, and Horizon. I'm playing. I got Horizon. You know, so if you uh, had to pick, if you had to decide only three games, what would they be? Sniper, of yeah, all yeah. those? Yeah. Oh man. Wrap your brain around that one. <laughs> well. God, this guy. Um. As. I, I unfortunately probably have to forgo. Uh. Wildlands. Mm. I know we're playing it right now, but uh, just in the, I would definitely like Mass Effect for sure. I'm there's no like I'm such a huge Mass Effect fan. I definitely want to devote a lot of time to that one. Right. Uh, probably Zelda. I mean, I'm getting a Switch, so it's like it'd be weird for me to like get my Switch and be like, ah, you know, I'll, I'll wait on. Zelda. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not. No, nah, man. There's game. no way I'm not gonna just like immediately want to play that. So. <laughs> I mean, you never like know. Zelda, Mass Effect. Um, Great destroyed. Okay, this maybe For Honor because I'm I'm currently sniper, playing that with a friend right now. So, Frag and that's at least one that some. I can just kind of casually play like a couple matches and then, you know, um, target down. Kind of like turn it off. Uh, the way we're like these other games are so like big open world experiences that they they demand a lot more time than that game does. Right. I mean, I'm definitely enjoying this open beta a lot more than I did the closed beta mm -hmm. just because for one a it's working <laughs> and also b is the fact that it's it's a it's a feeling like it a lot more solid experience here. for me yeah so because I definitely remember even when the game was working for me on the closed uh, beta they were just like Taking there were certain shot. bugs that were popping up and yeah it was a closed beta I get that but it's it just is like you know it shouldn't be happening as often as it sh you know should yeah Hostile down for sure Okay, so we got one more crit to blow up, and then we got mission accomplished. So where is this thing? Frag out. Cool. All right. Nice. It's the last of the crates. Objectives clear. You think it'll help? Shit. The way I see it, the less these assholes have to shoot at me with, the better. Got that right. All right, what do we want to do next? Well, let's see here. I'm waiting to see if uh, what the next objective they're going to give us since it's still matchmaking in progress. So cool. we're not able to find anybody at all. So let's see here. Um, <laughs> so we can head back into that town area, or we can probably head to Major Intel. Let's head to Major Intel then. Yeah, I want I want to make sure we like I want to check out the new map. Yeah. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. Seems like it also has all the previous uh, stuff from the the closed beta as well. But I, I definitely want to see some of these new environments going on. Chopper controls have still not gotten the best. Yeah. Let's fly low to avoid. Here we go. How are those guys staying on? They don't have any seatbelts at all. I don't know. Just I think it's more terrifying is that when your character got in the pilot seat, he's like, there's a lot of buttons up here. <laughs> wait, 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 did he say that? He said that. <laughs> like, that's always confident when a new pilot. So. Who's shooting at us? I don't know. What's going like, on? It's like random. I'm getting random missile lock-ons. Okay. All right. Okay. Good to. Hmm. So at least we got mini guns on this thing. That's good. So order. Can you still assault. not aim though at the with them? There, there's no reticle. Like that's, I don't, I don't understand that. Like, that's where, really weird. Weird. Why can I not lock on to stuff? Like I would feel so much better taking this into combat than I would. No, it really just seems more of a, a way to get around. I'm engaging takeaways. Yeah, you're just. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm just now I'm just. Blind kind of firing. Blind firing, hoping I hit something, because it kind of like Shit. auto locks on. Oh, like oh trying boy. to hit somebody. Uh, okay, let's see if I can turn this around. It's. Uh, oh, there's a. <laughs> I'm trying to oh my fucking hit things with this thing. There's oh, no geez. reticle. There's nothing. It's all the luck of the draw here, folks. Wow. I 
I kind of have to like fly like super low to kind of just angle them. Jeez. Guys, throwing a grenade at me while I'm flying a chopper. I'm hitting a few guys, so that's good. Oh, All right. Okay. okay, so I'm just gonna land this thing. There we go. Jesus. Yeah, I don't get that. Like, why? Why was there never a reticle for, you know, flying a chopper? Like, I just, I kind of, kind of yeah. escapes my 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 head about that. I'm like, I feel like they forgot that on their checklist. Yeah, it's, it's really, <laughs> it's really bizarre. I'm not really sure what their uh, motivation was for that one. Uh, somebody is complaining about no multiplayer in this game. I assume they're referring to uh, PvP multiplayer. Right, yeah. Because, I mean, you definitely want to play this with friends once it starts working because it's, it's just a much better experience. Like, it really is. Um, I never really did much um, PvP multiplayer in Ghost Recon games. It was always more about the, the single player experience. The PvP, personally. from what I can remember from the old days of Ghost Recon, it was a blast. Like, a lot of my... Longtime friends on Xbox, I actually met on the first Ghost Recon that was on like on the original Xbox, and then all the other Xbox and all the other uh, Ghost Recon since then. It's always been a very fun experience for me. Mine so. was um, the uh, Splinter Cell multiplayer. Oh yeah, Splinter Mercs, Cell, the Mercs, Spies versus Mercs. Uh, what was that? Uh, was it Pandora? Pandora Tomorrow or uh, maybe? I'm trying because it, yeah, it's, it, it kind of. They they keep taking it in and putting it back out and yeah. Um, Should we dare try to fly a fucking plane? Yeah, man, do it. <laughs> Come on, I landed that thing. You can do it. Oh yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you got the day. Way <laughs> easier. Oh, there's lights too. Can all these guys fit in this plane? I guess so. It's pretty. It it is like at a, at a distance, it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Like if I don't get locked on for missile locks every ten seconds. So this this to me is like that's gorgeous. Oh wow, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of really good uh, console games this year just like like surprisingly good you know like mm -hmm. I, I feel like a lot of people were like oh you know the the hardware has reached its limit and i, don't know, I feel like de uh developers are still surprising us with some i think like, the pretty good looking games on console yeah i think there's still some surprises coming out there i mean i mean there are definitely games out there that look a lot like prettier on pc for sure oh well of course but, but and, like I, you know, I consoles playing, aren't slacking that i much. was playing horizon with my friend and i was like this looks pretty good on yeah. ps4 like the cutscenes in that game are like jaw dropping to me. Like they're like, yeah. like they're like cinematic. Yeah, that uh, looks really good. Uh, Horizon looks beautiful. Like I'm shocked that game is running on a PlayStation 4. Oh yeah, look at that landing. Dang. Damn, right. that was awesome. Almost <laughs> hit a rock in a truck. Look at that. That was a perfect landing. Yeah, you nailed it. That was that was good. I'll tell them where to find the plane later. All right, then get in the All helicopter. Right, get in the helicopter, and we'll move on to the next mission we got out of that intel, which is this. What are we doing? Santa sure. Blanca's foreign military instructors are working out of the program's main training camp in Montaigne. Killing them will bring training in the province to. Screamo waffles. Uh, yes, this game is four-player co-op. We have been trying this entire time to matchmake with some people, but no luck so far. If you look to the top right of the screen, you'll see matchmaking in progress. It has been like Actually, that. Actually, they can't. We have a little. Uh, oh yeah, that's our, us. Our Never mind. In front of it. Well, <laughs> sorry, but yeah, up on the top right screen, it's been matchmaking in progress since we started, and it has not in it's changed at all since. Come on, man. This damn chopper. Then we got another guy stuck behind the plane. I kind of want to take the plane again, because it's just, it worked out so much Sparrow better. asks, uh, should I download the open beta, or should I download Mass Effect 2? I mean, I'm always going <laughs> to say download Mass Effect 2, regardless <laughs> of the other game. That's just my personal preference. I feel like my <laughs> the answer is always Mass Effect. Yeah, too. I would always. definitely lean towards that as well. Yeah, um, this, this is pretty cool too. I mean, you know, 
I mean, this, this is a game I'm going to play with my friends a lot, and Mass Effect is a game I'm just going to, like, enjoy for my own single-player experience and just really get to dive into that story because I'm a big fan of that series. Do, do you have, a, like, a good group of friends that you know are going to get this mm -hmm. that you're going to play with? Yeah, if I, I just, I just spoke it, yeah. to them this morning about it, and they're just like, yeah, let's, let's get the Division crew back together again. So, oh, that's like, right. All right. I... I actually had a group of friends that all played The Division, and that definitely made that experience really fun, um, like launch day. Uh, I remember actually, I had gotten uh, back from work, I was working really, really late, so I got home from work at like 12.30 a.m., and the game had just launched, and all of them were messaging me like, yo man, we just got The Division, we're all playing it, and I was like, ah, oh, you know what, and so I like, <laughs> bought it right then and there, downloaded okay. it, Yes, yeah, so, alright, <laughs> let's do this, and it was pretty good, it was like a really fun week of, of playing that with them. So uh, if I had a bunch of friends who were willing to do that with this, uh, that would be awesome. Um, Helicopter incoming. I don't really know, though, I don't, I don't really know uh, if my friends are going to get this one. Do you know how long this, uh, this beta is up for? Uh, I think it's open all the way until Monday, maybe? Okay. I'm not quite sure. Ah. Nathan says he doesn't have friends. I'm, you know what? That's what uh, that's what matchmaking is for. That's that's exactly it. God, I hate it when I'm randomly shot and I just don't know where it's coming from. Ugh. Hmm. So far, I'm digging the new area you can explore. Like, I, I really am a fan of the snowy mountains and just the overall... Whoa, what the? That seems cool. I am reviving myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Alex says the open beta ends February 27th, with the, which, yes, I believe that is... Uh, that is Monday. That is Monday. Cool. But I wouldn't give for a freaking RPG right about now. Okay. Well, I'm going to do the old-fashioned order my guys to start shooting because... When you order your squad to start shooting, they just start taking out guys left and right. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Shit balls. He's getting serious now. <laughs> you know, if, it, if... He said that so calmly, too. <laughs> if there was a, a, a sense of... Like tongue and cheekness, like you're supposed to hate these guys <laughs> for saying stuff like that. Maybe it could work, but it's it's real straight. <laughs> and they're playing it really straight. Well, it sounds like the VO, like the person who was behind, like the VO booth, told him, like, yeah, just say it like you would if you were being shot at. Oh, okay. Well, uh, blah blah. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's good to me. <laughs> they say it so calmly, like you're being shot at. Like say it with a little more energy, man. All right. I mean, I, I am in, I'm I'm getting a kick out of this game. Like, I, I am enjoying it for what it is. Cool. Um, it's definitely a game where you're gonna get a lot more mileage out of it yeah, if you play with friends, because the AI is just so damn dumb. Yeah. Like it just really does not help. All right, breathe easy. And also too is that you can just bring all your custom characters in together, and that'd be really cool. See different different variations of like. Uh, what their playstyle is and what characters they've created. Yeah, out of and that's always madness. that's always really fun. You know, uh, I play a little bit with uh, Jake Decker and uh, like you know, like oh, we're gonna go to work together to take out this fort. Like there's right. that's that is satisfying for sure. You know, kind of that that age old uh, adage that uh, everything's better in co-op. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it. I mean, I think it depends on the game, obviously, but sure, I definitely yeah. agree that there are certain games out there. <clears throat> excuse me, that there's definitely games out there that play a lot better with friends, and some games out there that play so much better with friends that it's kind of like, damn. I, no one to play this with. game is definitely seems designed for friends. Yeah, for sure. Like that is the that is the focus. Rally up, people. Rally up people. Someone's asking, uh, you can disable the entire HUD. Uh, yes. So you said there's a mode that'll do it. Can you also there's just turn it off? Option. Yeah, if I'm, you actually want gonna as well? I'm actually going to turn it off. Yeah, let's, let's I'm curious. Where? Hold on. I think it's actually a different Many options menu. All right. Oh, nope. That's not what. That's not what I wanted. Oh, man. Too many option menus. It's HUD. There we go. All right. Scale it. it. Just show. Uh, well, it had a. Preset? 
Just uh, show. Yeah, just just hide right, it. There we go. There you go. Just hide it. Just hide it. I do really like. I played this on um, PC. When you go to the graphic options, mm -hmm. it'll show you a picture of what it looks like, and then it says, "Oh, when you put the shadow on, it should now look like this." It'll oh, wow. actually show you a picture of what exactly that that option will do to the visuals, which is really cool because I think I think a lot of people. You look at it and you're like, oh, uh, you know, <laughs> post-processing shadow, uh, whatever thingy. Dynamic. What, what does that mean? Light, uh, okay. <laughs> like you, you just like, I'll just turn it on, and then if it's chugging, I'll turn it off again, right? You don't mm. actually know what it does. Um, so having a, an actual like visual aid to show that, I think that is really clever, and I, I more games should do that. That is rad. Oh jeez. Of course, now with no hotter, <laughs> I'm like. It's like, you're not right, like, yeah, okay, like, you're on my side, got it. <laughs> I can't even, well, it takes away the objectives now. Like, I don't even know yeah, where the guys bit, are now. That's maybe a bit much. Although it did seem it had customization, so you probably could set it to be uh, kind of pick and choose. I do kind of like this, though, without the HUD. I'm a fan of, I'm a, I'm a fan of no HUD when I can get away with it. Ah, what the hell? Holy smokes. Tell you, I'm really getting not a fan of is just randomly getting shot. <laughs> He's just engage targets. Open fire. Whoa. It is interesting that when you give the AI orders to fire, they literally go on like a killing spree. Like they start wiping out everybody, which is great. Let's see. Can you tell them to shoot like a specific person? You can, yeah. You can order them to attack. Okay, you can order them to attack random characters. Uh, is there any options in terms of like silently kill or? Yeah, you like so okay. that's okay. um. Good, good, good. Yeah. Cool. Shut that guy through the glass of that thing. All right, I was gonna say. I was about to ask, is that a friendly? But I realized I don't think anyone. There's no. Are there are there any other like friendly? Uh, you can call in rebels that can help assist you. Okay. Um, right, and there are like the the uh, cages you can shoot, and then rebels will come out and help. Yes. And help you. They will right. come out and assist right. you. They'll come out and save you. Um. Come on, guys. In fact, uh, I think I might have an ability to call in some allies right now. Let's see if we have that. Beckham says he's uh, at their grandma's, not at their Xbox. That's mistake number one. <laughs> Always choose video games over family. Always. <laughs> Especially if it's a game that's going to take quite a while to beat, like Mass Effect. Or just introduce grandma to Mass Effect. Yeah, exactly. Like have Or introduce grandma to like Ghost Recon. She's like, who are you going to romance in this run? <laughs> oh, Grandma. I like Garrus. <laughs> Why couldn't you meet someone like this in real life? <laughs> Damn it. What the? Ugh. This is driving me nuts. And because, like, we don't have the HUD on at the moment. Yeah. It's, like, <laughs> really hard mistake. to, like. Oh, really you can't crawl underneath that? You oh, can crawl weird. underneath that. Ugh. God, okay. Uh, maybe turn the HUD back on. Yeah, I think so. It's great, though, to kind of, like, mess with it, though, with no HUD on. Um, yeah, and, and, and it, it did have customization options, so <laughs> maybe, like, turn some things on. Um. Brad Williams is saying, I feel like this game would be super dope with a battle battle royale mode. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> just, like, oh, drop just everybody sort of in the middle of a field of, like, 30 players, and everyone just, like, picks up weapons if you can find them and just start killing each other. That'd be kind of, uh, yeah, that would actually be kind of cool. That'd be really cool, yeah. That'd yeah. Be neat. Good call. Good call, Brad. Yeah, so this is a purely single player, well, like, not single player, but, um, like, campaign focused experience. There's no PvP style right. multiplayer. Yeah, there isn't any to, uh, to my knowledge. Um, I'm wondering if they're going to maybe add that in later, but, uh, maybe. So this is giving me the option to kind of customize what I show. Yeah, exactly. Just for time wise, we'll just select the basic. Cool. There we go. What the? 
You do not see me walking here. Was that a... Oh, it's just a random dude. Yeah, it's a random civilian. So yeah, I just got notified here hey, on uh, that the servers are now going under maintenance. So for all of you oh. out there not getting connected, there you go. So the are server, we gonna get booted? No, we won't get booted because we actually are we are st uh, still connected. But it was weird that thing popped up and said servers are under maintenance, so we can't won't be able to connect to anybody now. Hmm. So which is a bummer. But we're still playing, so that's good. We locked down on that. Okay. Right, so these guys are the targets. Ongoing maintenance know. ending in something. Violent services are undergoing. Yep. Ongoing maintenance. Okay. Oh. <laughs> they should have heard that. <laughs> Back it up. They, they might know you're there. That's an everyday life for these guys, so they're, they're used to it. Oh, yeah. There goes Tim. Uh, some people in the chat are talking about uh, uh, soldier uh, shoulder swap. Mm -hmm. uh, can you do that in this game? Uh, I imagine you should be able to, right? Yeah, you should be able to. Great oh, wait. All we need. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm really hoping to kill these guys before enough health breaks loose. I already try to order my guys Ready? to attack fire, me. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're like, fire, fire. Fire. <laughs> fire everything. Fire. Shoot everything. Do what you were trained to do. Okay, I'm indoors now. So no more magic bullets flying through the door. Yeah, so I'm saying uh, L3, R3 uh, will swap. Is that doing anything? Mm -mm. Nope. All right. Interesting. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I love it. <laughs> if, at least you can make fun of it. You know, it's not going to the extent where it's like, oh, my God. Uh, thank you, David Swift. Thanks for uh, joining us. We really appreciate it, man. Welcome aboard. Ah. You know what's weird is that you're hearing that min you're seeing that minigun going off. But you're not really hearing it. Oh yeah, you're right. That is weird. You know, it's just, it's just like a little. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. It's too far to throw. That is so. <laughs> that is so weird. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fire on them, guys. Come on. All right, now it's someone saying right on the D-pad. Press that one. Nope, that is the night vision. Supply chopper here. Should make it easy to intercept and reroute it towards the rebels. Let's get. Hold up. The drone is up. Nope, that is for the drone. A couple people in the chat are saying that the uh, servers on console are back up now. Uh, I mean, we're still playing, so <laughs> I'm yeah. assuming so. But maybe we'll maybe we'll finally get some people. Although. Uh, We've been going for almost an hour now, so we're probably actually going to stop pretty soon. Yeah, probably. You're going to be okay. <laughs> it's funny. They stop shooting the moment I start to get revived, but the moment I'm back on my feet, they just blast you. Mm. Me, man. I'll be right there. <sighs> Come on, man. So I keep hearing those supply choppers overhead. With this info, you can find and grab one of them for the rebels. I'm mistaking that button for... <laughs> What's the word, boss? Grenade, get to cover. Oh, that's interesting. So they've stopped shooting us. Yeah. Where is everyone? I don't know. Enemy killed. Get on that minigun? I would think so. Nice. Now we're talking. <laughs> can't really see anyone from here, unfortunately. Yeah, and I can't zoom in either. Nah, There's a lot of much. design decisions with this game that I'm quite confused about. The fact that you can't... You have no reticle on the attack chopper. Uh, you can't zoom in with the minigun, even a little bit. So, Yeah, just a slight zoom in would be nice. Uh, there we go. So much for that. Blow 
that up. Blow that up. Blow a bunch of stuff up. Isn't that true? Alright, I think it's gone now. Alright, let's get this last target up that hill. Then it's mission accomplished. Yeah. Everything was so smooth. Let me call my guys in. What's your go-to weapon in the in this game? So I haven't gotten all of them yet, but I would definitely like to say, um, got a man down. What the hell? I kind of like the uh, the AR. This is definitely one of my favorite weapons mm -hmm. in this game. I haven't found it yet for me to unlock, but I'm looking forward to grabbing it soon. I got you, man. Just hang tight. I'm heading your way. Okay. Cool. I always inf I feel like a game like this where it, it, the map's so open, a sniper rifle is almost like always required. Oh yeah, that means I have one always yeah. equipped. I'm, this, I'm assuming this guy's on foot. He's right moving ass. really fast. Ideas, Shoot him. I've got eyes on the cat. That's an idea. It's the last of the instructors. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Woo! There we go. When word gets out about what happened. Trial and error. All the time getting new instructors. I think there's actually a weapons uh, crate nearby. I'm looking on my map right now. You see a little arrow sticking up like that? The little blue arrow? Yeah. Yeah, I think that might be a weapons crate. Okay. Um, let me head back in there quickly and Structures grab it. Hit. Good kill. There's definitely one thing about this game when you're playing with AI is that it will randomly start calling out stuff that's happening around you, but you're just kind of like, okay, what does that mean to me? Like, that doesn't make any sense. So, sure, yeah, they're just like, kind of yelling at you. They're just kind of yelling at me for like, it's like target down. This guy's dead. Oh, cool. Okay, uh, I didn't know there was a guy there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, it's in this building. All right, what are we getting? I don't know. It's gonna find out here. Can't no? say, give me the goods. All right, well, there's a supply. Oh, that was another thing that drove me nuts in a uh, co-op is uh, you, everyone has to tag all that stuff individually themselves, mm -hmm. which this is, a ah, is really points. annoying because it's like, okay, we're both gonna sneak across different parts of this base. And it's like, oh, I just tagged a thing here. I guess after we're done, come back over here so you can do it too. Like, yeah, know, that kind of sucks. It was, it was kind of dumb. Not gonna lie about that. All right, let's get out of it, here. It just adds more like time, and uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather that not be a thing. <laughs> like, you guys got, you guys got time to take that out, right? What the? What's up with that guy? I don't know. <laughs> All right. And this is why he just shit had two <laughs> dual as in uh, Uzis. <laughs> oh, boy. You're interrupting his workout. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, we're just about at the end here. Um, is there anything cool we can end this on? Anything interesting? You know what? I'm going to grab a looks like a tank's nearby, and we're just going to find it, like, hopefully find a base nearby and just sure. wreck hell yeah, and do it until we die. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Let's go ahead and end things. Nothing but explosions. It's getting dark. It's cool. Hang on, I'll drive. It looks like there's actually enemies on the base up the hill here, actually on the left, so. Right, come on everybody. Cool. It's the next guy. Where's the other guy? He's in the base? Ah, forget him. Mm. Perfect. There's a place right there. <laughs> Do it. So far, so good. So far, nobody. Oh, there's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it takes a minute for them to realize. That's not one of ours. <laughs> like, should I do something about that? I wonder if there's someone I should call. <laughs> There's a siren. There we go. Now we're gonna start getting some guys here. Who blew up that jeep? So this, is, this is where I wish I I could fire these guns on this damn. Oh, you can transport. So, but your that's your ally oh, shooting. Down. Yeah. That's, uh, a, that's my great ally shooting. So. Oh dang. Okay, come on. Switch seats. Weapons 
free. Weapons free. Not what I want to get back in the tank. <laughs> no, it gives me the option. There's a button to. Yeah, it should. Shoot that. Shoot the chopper. Shoot the chopper. Take it out. Oh, I oh think it's going yeah. down. Nice. Yay. I wish we got to see that more. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, that's probably what we're going to call it then. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a good way to kind of call it. Just causing some mayhem and blowing up other people's property. Yeah, so uh, final thoughts on this this beta, open beta here. Seems like it adds more than we saw in the closed beta, but... It adds more. There's it, This frame rate to me so far is a little more solid. That's um, good. And obviously the extra part of the map is always cool too. It just mm -hmm. it, This means a game that you need to play with people. It's just... It's hard to kind of really enjoy for what it is with just AI, you know, yeah. companions. And so, unfortunately, we weren't able to do that today because the servers are buggy all over the place. But uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to playing this with my friends. I'm also looking forward to the other games we mentioned earlier coming out pretty soon. Oh yeah, a lot of stuff coming out. So, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully the servers will be up pretty soon, so people will get to enjoy that. Uh, if you liked, uh, enjoy this stream, make sure to subscribe to us. We're going to have a lot more coverage of this game coming out in a couple weeks. Uh, we're mm -hmm. going to have a review, all that good stuff. Uh, also, we're going to have a ton of stuff on the Switch next week when that comes out. So uh, look forward to that. And, uh, yeah, see you guys next time. We'll see you again.